the jig guys might be the most versatile lure, depending on who you're talking to. Uh, but man, for me, it's caught a lot of fish, and especially during these upcoming months we're about to have, like November to January, I've caught a lot of fish and big fish on the jig. And today on the channel, we're going to talk about different types of jigs, where to fish them, what to look for, kind of areas to target, and just kind of we're going to have a bunch of jigs on it, guys. I got them all on the deck, so we're going to go through a bunch of different jigs. Uh, at the end of the video, my last jig I'm going to talk about is going to be kind of that newer portion, forward facing sonar, uh, forward facing sonar fishing with the jig. But this first part is just all jig fishing. You can use a forward facing sonar, of course, but we're just going to go through the basics of it to help you go out and catch more fish. Guys, before we get into this finesse jig right here, which we're going to talk about first, before we get into the finesse jig, I'll have another episode of my podcast that just came out, Real Life and Fishing. I had a special guest on the show, an Arkansas native, which I know most of my guests are Arkansas natives right now. But guys, we got Derek Salem. He's a Lake Washita local. And guys, if you follow with the Bassmaster Opens, Bassmaster Elites, the Opens is going to Washita this upcoming year. So during this podcast, there's a lot of Washita talk. So if you're not familiar with Washita and want to go check it out, hey, go check the podcast out. Let me know what you think. Appreciate it, guys. So, hey, we got a lot of jigs here. I got four categories. We're going to go through four categories. This first one is a finesse jig. Now, guys, this jig here, I brought this one out, and you see it is beat up. This one has been used and caught a lot of fish. Just a small little finesse, uh, ball-headed style jig. I'm not going to share the special name of this color because uh, this is actually not my jig. This is a good friend of mine's jig. Um, he left it with me after he caught a lot of fish with it with me on a fishing trip. Just as a reminder, hey, this this jig catches fish. Uh, I believe that's the watermelon red-orange kind of speed crawl there, which is a good trailer. But this finesse jig, guys, is, is, an, is, a, is an easy way to catch any size of bass through the winter, okay? Now, I'm going to talk about this jig. It's 5-cent stink towel jig, and there's a bunch of finesse jigs on the market, guys. And I'll put some down in the description, different types of jigs and trailers. But, guys, with the finesse jig, it catches more from me the numbers and size, but there are days where big fish want it. Now, what you're going to look for, of course, is channel swing banks. Look for your rock transition areas, okay? And there's just going to be a little bit of a time, you know, in the winter, uh, bass, you know, you're lethargic. They're not feeding as much. But they're still going to eat. Now, those fish around rock, though, guys, they can be feeding on bait fish, but they're feeding on crawfish. And depending on the crawfish size in your lake, man, this right here just mimics that smaller size crawfish, which gets you more bites, okay? Uh, once again, now, like I said, my good buddy of mine, name's Reed, we've had a bunch of good trips with this jig. Now, there's times I'm throwing the football jig, and he's throwing this jig, but we've had a bunch of good fishing trips. And I just said, like, channel swing banks, guys, channel swing points with rock, rock transitions, but there's also a trip at Lake Washita, and uh, I can't share the area because he's going to go there and fish it in Thanksgiving week because he's off, and I might go fish it soon. But um, there's an area of the lake where, guys, we found some fish, and it sets up to what it is right now. Lake was low level, guys. Um, we found these fish in the middle of a bay, middle of a big cove, middle of a creek, whatever you want to call it. And they were not in the creek channel, but they were near it. And we would see them on 2D, throw Alabama rig crankbait at them, nothing. Throw that jig down there, thump, they ate it, and man, we had a blast catching them with these little jigs, okay? For some reason, they only wanted the little jig. All right, so finesse jig. Don't forget about the finesse jig. It's not my number one jig to throw. Guys, one thing about the finesse jig, I love throwing all my jigs typically on a 7.6 rod. You can throw on a 7.2, of course. Like, this is a Denali Covert Light 7.2 medium heavy worm and jig rod. I throw my Texas rig worms on it typically. Um, but can, you can throw that smaller finesse jig on it as well. Lighter fluorocarbon, depending on your water clarity. So I love throwing 14 to 16 pound line with my jig. Uh, but man, 12 might be even better depending on your water clarity. I know you see this giant thing on here right now, big old panorama shad. I'm trying to get you guys some fish catches with. I've just failed so far. All right, guys, next jig, the football jig. Okay, football jig, you can fish in the same areas. Channel swing banks, channel swings points, rock transitions, look for rock, of course. But another thing with the football jig that I like this time of year is still fishing around humps and ledges, okay? So those fish that live around those those things, guys, they're not just going to disappear. They're still going to be down there. They might be harder to see on your electronics, but they're so glued to them rocks. And typically, them fish on the rocks and, and humps and ledges are bigger fish at times. So you, I wouldn't throw a football jig to get the bigger ones to bite. I'm trying to get a big fish right. For me in the winter... I, I'd rather, winter's always a big fish time for me. 
and guys, I um, I always caught big fish, okay? And it's probably because I was throwing this guy instead of that finesse jig. The finesse jig, I'll catch more fish, right? But, I mean, it will catch big fish. But this guy, is for me, is a big confidence lure. This is just my, uh, not mine, it's Johnny's, but it's the Fish the Moment Offshore Jig. Love this jig. The wire cable guard will help it with the brush. Peanut butter jelly color, the color to go. And it has that toe thumper craw gill on it. Other trailers that I've thrown on it was, and I have some down here, that speed craw is good. And then I just went blank on my Strike King one. Uh, the Strike King, I just went blank. Menace Grub, the old Menace Grub. We're going to talk about this jig here in a minute. So, guys, one thing about it, again, you can still throw in brush in the winter because some of your lakes has brush. But look for the ledges, rock ledges, rock kind of humps with rock, okay? Next jig, all right, structure style jig. So this is the Strike King structure jig, okay? I have a bunch of these in my box. Uh, the jig y'all heard me talk about, uh, the structure jig hybrid jig by six cents. Um, I have one on right here actually. Here's my seven six rod. Okay, here's one right here that I have just so y'all see this. Uh, so here's that hybrid style jig. Okay, let me hit click it. So, thing about six cents is big hook, strong hook. That 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 hybrid style head, guys, is you know, it's good for rock, brush, but what I want to talk about grass. So, this right here is one that I used to throw at Washita a lot. These swim really, really well in the grass, okay? So this is that smaller one. I typically like though the bigger ones. A little minute scrub on here. Also have other style trailers and colors. I have one color in here I'm not gonna show you guys yet. I gotta go catch some fish with it. Oh, wash tall special. But as I told you guys before, I love these structure jigs, or hybrid structure. You can flip these guys too. Now we're talking about winter. So as I mentioned earlier, you can fish these in those same areas. Rock banks with transitions. I haven't really talked about it. Here it is. Look for the little drains and cuts in the banks, okay? It could be a channel swing bank. Look for that cut. There could be a, a drain there. It could be just in a creek. There's a rock wall down a creek, a rock bank. Look for that little cut, them rounded points. There could be a little drain there, brush in the drain. Good place to throw these hybrid structure style jigs where you can drag it, swim it, like say a fish in the lake with grass, swim this around grass. You can swim it around brush too, guys. So I love these style jigs for that, okay? And really, if you're on a budget, this is the jig to get, a structure style jig. You can fish it many, many different ways, okay? So I do have it on this 7.6 right here. Uh, and I don't just throw the con uh, covert lights. This is a, ah, oh man, guys, I don't want to get wrong, 150 to $170 rod. That attacks, I have more of those attacks in my box than these. I'll throw it on the 7.2 attacks, and I have a 7.4 I might throw these on too. I gotta think, I have so I have a bunch of rods down there, guys. But that attacks is that cheaper rod if you're more on that budget. On then this is 16 pound fluoro. Once again, I like to go with a little heavier line. Now, if I'm fishing clear water, might need to uh, go down. Do y'all hear that wind? Windy out there, guys. Here we are, uh, early November, and it's warm again this week. Arkansas weather, how about that, right? Okay, hey guys, the last jig. Now, first of all, before I get to the last jig, you don't need forward-facing sonar for part of this technique, but I'm going to talk about forward-facing sonar with it. So, here's a hair jig. Now, this is an older hair jig. Now, I mean, it's not older, but, like, I'm going to talk about a newer hair jig. This is one I have saved. Um, Y'all know, know, guys, I'm with, I, I have a co with Black Custom Lures. Uh, it's called Fish Coach. I don't know if he has these on his website anymore. Like, literally, this guy, I've not thrown this dude in like two years because I only have one left. He, they're, they're hard to get these hair jigs. Uh, one cool thing about this hair jig has that little, as you see, look, that little, that little uh, thing right there he put to kind of protect the hook if you're fishing it in wood. So, guys, I, I should have got some of my other hair jigs out, like this little gray, white hair jig. I used to buy, like, Trader Bills and other small little stores. You can fish these in grass, deep grass, timber, of course. I love fishing them in grass. But, guys, on the forward facing sonar, I'm about to talk about hair jigs and a swim jig. So, like, this is the Cumberland Pro hair jig. You, you know more about this in the summer, uh, fishing this ledges rock but for the winter i'm going to be fishing this around grass okay now with this too i even did this this last year at washita when i went for the first time probably in a year right i don't fish washita much or I, I hadn't i'm about i'm about to but we went to an old grass hole old cannon started cracking them on the hair jig uh and then i pulled this one out and caught bigger fish so got a couple hair jigs here so you don't gotta use four facing sonar but that's how i fished them before uh, but guys, with the forward facing sonar now, what I'm going to be looking for is fish deep on the bottom. Pull that little hair jig above them. 
right here's the swim jig by six cents the six cents braid swim jig i cut the cut the head off so here's one without it we use this in a high school fishing tournament with a lot of wood do these at fish chasing bait okay you see i got a little kai tech on there one trailer so josh guys fishes this thing without a trailer down there at ohiv oklahoma catching the bigs right i'm gonna i'm gonna keep continue to try to do it without a trailer i caught some fish last year with it nothing special but guys I'm, i might even put that um what's our, our uh spunk shad on there i might put the spunk shad on there so guys what i'm going to do with it this year forward facing sonars find fish to spin it around bait or on bottom rock bottom okay uh typically i, I haven't fished the grass much with forward facing sonar but i did recently checked it out a little bit on a trip and that 34 you can see fishing grass pretty well if you're good with your eyes so i'm going to try this for fish on the bottom or suspended and then the special one if you're still watching 11 minutes in this is the dude this is the queen tackle ping jig it's a tungsten hair jig okay and they they think you know it's called ping jig because you can see it supposedly better on your forward facing sonar and guys i've thrown it i've been throwing it for the past couple months i think you can this dude's little this is their three eighths out size so they got a couple sizes right there okay now guys just so you know i'm not affiliated with these dudes um if they reach out to me that'd be great but i don't know so guys I've, I've been throwing these already caught some fish with them i lost a big with them i lost one big with it but do these little jigs you can see this thing 100 120 foot away if you have your live scope set up well okay so fish that are deep suspended or on the bottom remember guys on the bottom's key got to practice being able to see them fish on the bottom but throwing this above them and just bring it above their head trying to get them to come up and eat it just try to entice them antagonize them uh to eat because if they're on the bottom just sitting there guys they're not really eating right they're not eating they might be around bait but they're not so you got to kind of trick them right got to kind of trick them to bite so this little ping jig here is going to be my one for the winter i am ready to try okay guys hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know if you did i love fishing a jig uh, caught a lot of fish with a jig big fish with a jig and guys it is jig fishing season okay you can probably be jig fishing season year round but for me it's really jig fishing season appreciate it guys let me know what you think Hey, and we'll see you on the next one.